Okay. We're working out biceps, chest, and what's the other one? Shoulders today. My weapon of choice, jump rope. Ooh, ooh, double. You can't stop me. Oh, you can't stop me. Whoa. Oh. Okay, we're working out chest, biceps, mm -hmm. chest, biceps, and something else. But before we do that, I want to show you Monty, our Monstera plant, and how happy he is in our new garage. Look how big and look how shiny. So effortless. These ones, they were outside, so we kind of had to cut out the rotting areas. But this one, so shiny, so full. And I feel like it really ties this gym together. Yeah, pose, babe. Mm -hmm. Pose. Mm-hmm. Yup. Yup. Today, I wear my gloves because I got a little bit of dryness on my hands right now. Thank you, weight helper -er. Helper outer. Spotter Keegan. Chest is probably my weakest one. <laughs> I am so sweaty right now. Oh, I felt that one. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's today's song, by the way. I realized when I'm editing all my other ones that every time there's a workout session, there's some song stuck in my head and I'm repeating the same portion of that song over and over multiple times throughout the video. So. Today's is Camila Cabello. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. My upper lip is really sweaty. Okay. <sighs> was that my last one? Yeah, three. I'm done. That was our workout, everyone. Thanks for joining. What's next? Bicep curls. Oh, should we show them the app that we use? There's an app that Keegan bought and he's been wanting to use it ever since, I feel like 2020, since COVID. You've always been like, oh, maybe I should get this one. Maybe I should get this one. This time it actually is here. And this is what we use every time. It just tells me what my workout is that day. What's it called? It's called FitBod. FitBod. Fit <laughs> he heard it through a podcast. And it's done us very well because I just kind of blindly follow with whatever he's saying. And I blindly follow my phone. So it's all of us blindly following each other. Okay. I feel like that's what female authors expect when they say he grunted, he growled. There he goes again with that soccer ball. Him and that soccer ball always conspiring. Okay, that was my set. Keegan's gonna be going to visit his mom and they have two dogs there. Their names are Sabine and Wednesday. Sabine is probably more socialized than Wednesday is. So he's wondering if he can kick a ball around with her or have her, what is it, play fetch or something? Tricky part is they're scaredy cats, but they're dogs. Did uh, you add more? Strangers, yeah. Too much? Yeah, it looks like too much. Or not. Okay, you got it. Come on, only five more. Make this your lunch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do well with those kinds of, like you have to yell at me, but it has to be believable. Not like, make it your lunch. I am so sweaty. One time I tried learning how to skateboard. I think it was during 2020. So there was like, I couldn't really hang out with anybody. And we had the skateboard. There is a slight, like a very slight incline at the area where I lived at that time. So when I was skating, I tried to like push all my weight back to get it to kick up to stop. But while I was going at that slight decline, I pushed up, but instead of pushing, I don't know what happened. I didn't push hard enough or maybe I, I, I obviously did something wrong. 
the skateboard flew out from right under me and it literally flew all the way until the gate and it made the loudest clang and I fell on my hip. I think it was either my right or my left, I think it was my right hip. It was my right hip. I fell and I stayed down for like five minutes. I was like, oh my God. Luckily I was wearing a helmet because if you don't wear a helmet for those things, like, I don't know, it doesn't make you look cooler to me. It's just, just the only thing that cycles in my head is what if, what if, what if? I ended up having a huge bruise, like, that big, all over this area. It was gnarly, it was like purple and red. And ever since then, I never touched a skateboard. It was too much for me. I love it. I wanna give a shout out to Keegan because he's always racking the weights. I do my best, I help out, but he's just like zoom, 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 in the background, so. One. I went to the pool and I had my headphones plugged in. I was working on my computer, editing some videos. So I had no idea what was going around me unless it was like right in front of my face. So all of a sudden I just heard a buzzing, like a buzz right next to my left ear. And I was like, oh, I said that so loud. And it wasn't just me and my sister at the pool. There was a family with a like, with a two year old toddler. And all of them looked to me and I went, I'm so sorry. I don't know what was next to me. And then one of the moms looks at me and she goes, it was a dragonfly. And I went, thanks so much. Again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Seven? Yes. Seven heaven. Did you guys play that game? Seven heaven. I played that once when I was in middle school. Like, what were we expecting? It was middle school. Nothing was going to happen. But I remember people were seeing it online and they're like, we should play it. I was in a room with one of my good guy friends at the time. We didn't even talk. talking about seven minutes in heaven. Seven minutes in heaven. Yeah. yeah. No, I never played it. I was in middle school. But it wasn't at my house. It was at my friend's house. And we were having like a birthday thing for her. So... I came from a really, really small, intimate school. I'm talking 11 people to one classroom when I was in eighth grade. All of the people in that class were in eighth grade, 11 people, three girls, including me, eight boys. So one of my friends that I was just in there with, we were just kind of, I remember we got locked in the bathroom and we were just going like this. And then finally, somebody opened the door and they're like, ooh, what'd you guys do? What'd you do? And we're like, oh, you know, nothing. And they're like, sure. And we both look at each other, me and my friend, and we're like, no, we literally, we did absolutely nothing. We also played Truth or Dare. Uh -huh. I remember that. Everybody knows Truth or Dare. Everybody knows Truth or Dare. And Truth or Dare, <laughs> I just wanted to do Truth the whole time. I was like, don't dare me to do anything. I'm not, I don't want to do it. I was like, uh, truth? And they're like, is it true? They probably asked me like, is it true that you have a crush on so-and-so? I still lied because where's the lie detector? You know, how are they gonna monitor if you're actually telling the truth or not? So I picked the truth and I still lied. There's my hack for any of you guys out there that are wondering, what if I, how do I play truth or dare? Which I'm sure none of you guys actually say that, but yeah, if you're 12 years old playing truth or dare. Just lie. Just lie. Now's my time to flex to see. Yeah. What are we, are they? Are they good actually? Yeah. Really? So when my sister and I went to the beach the other day, I had her take a photo and I did something like this. I'll put a photo of it right here. And my arms looked so good. Like they were toned and I was like, oh my God, I've only been lifting for, I don't know, maybe two weeks. But before that I was pole dancing very consistently. So when I saw that photo, I, I fell in love, heart, eyes, all over the place. But anyways, oh, check these babies out. I had a professor in college who he was like, you'll hear a lot of soft people tell you that there's no such thing as a stupid question. But I believe that there are such things as stupid questions. So don't ask me stupid questions. Do you remember him? 
Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? You're doing his voice, and that's actually what he sounds like. Yeah. Anyways, I never asked a question for that guy because I, at the time I was too scared to feel judged about potentially asking a stupid question, which in hindsight definitely sounds like an anxious mindset. All right, that was the workout today. Uh, my mic is at a different angle, so it might be real different. I'm going to see if I can do the Aisha now. My muscles are very warmed up from what I did, but I did do some stretching here and there. I'm actually gonna do a little bit more. I'm doing this without like in-person instruction to kind of address what's going on. I'm Googling, YouTubing, all these different kinds of tricks and what to be knowledgeable of, but nobody's actually giving me feedback. My left wrist is more delicate than my right. The first studio that I went to for pole, I just assumed every instructor knew what they were doing, but that specific instructor was also the owner and I don't think she knew how to describe things well enough. So on one of the classes, she said, all right, we're gonna pop into a handstand. I raised my hand, I said, I never have done a handstand in my life, never. Like, and if I have, it comes with an immediate crash. I don't feel comfortable doing a move. And she's like, don't worry, I'll spot you. And I said, okay. So she's like, okay, just pop up into it. And I'm like, how? She's like, kick your legs up and you're gonna hold here, hold here. And so I tried it and immediately I fell and like my wrist wobbled a little and I was like, okay, no, I think I'm good. I'm just gonna skip this trick. And ever since then, I felt very sensitive in this left hand. So I always feel like I need to be a little bit more gentle with this. We're using grip today cause it's a sweaty one. I'm almost certain it's not a matter of strength anymore. It's a matter of technique. Either my hips are going way too far or what, but we're about to hit this. Also not going for grace today. Oh, I still can't hold it. I can, I can, I can. I want to hold it longer. I feel like that's it, but I want to hold it. This is my perfectionist coming out. Yeah, go for it. You can do it. Mm. Oh. That was way overcompensated. Mm. Ah. All done? No. Too long. That felt better. I pushed to... it out. I pushed my hip out. Look at these little calluses, perhaps. Yo, what the fuck? You need to massage it out? No. I almost had it, and then I just felt my toes cramp. Okay, if I don't get it this time, I'm done. Because I don't want to hurt myself. Okay, I guess that's as far as we're gonna get today. That was it? That was it, but I didn't hold it. Did you lose balance or lose strength? I lost balance. Okay. I was really close to getting it, but I just can't hold it. That's where we're ending today. Thanks everybody for coming in and hopefully one day I'll be able to hold it perfectly. I don't know if it's my hip going too far back or what, but like this time I was able to get into the shape, but I wasn't able to hold it. So if you have any tips, drop it down below, but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.